Hi everyone, welcome back to DIY Geek YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to enable HTTP 2, HTTP version 2 instead of version 1 or 1.1, which is what we've been used to for the past 10 to 12 years or so. Anyhow, um, so first of all, before we start, we should go ahead and test to make sure that the website or domain that we're about to, uh, to activate the version 2 is actually not activated yet. So we go to tools.keycdn.com uh, to perform this HTTP2 test. You can actually perform this in many other uh, tools out there, but I just chose keycdn. Um, enter the domain. In this particular case, I am going to be working on the dryer.com and uh, go ahead and type it in with the HTTPS. Test it. And uh, you'll see that it says it's, it's not supported. ALPN is also not supported. I'm not going to go into the um, definition um, and benefits of version 2 or ALPN. You can go ahead and Google that and learn that on your own. Uh, but for, uh, for this video, I am going to concentrate on how to get this up and running. So first you need to um, edit your Nginx configuration or um, for many of us, we actually have virtual hosts in this particular server. The dryer is using a virtual host. It is under this particular uh, www right here um, configuration file. So we go ahead and um, do a nano, which is a text editor in Linux to the www. And once we are inside here, uh, we're going to look for the server block uh, and add the word HTTP2. Uh, to the end of the listen directive or option. So right here, um, right after all of these directives right here, wildcard on IP6, 443, SSL, IP6 uh, only on, and then right before the semicolon, we're going to add HTTP2. And same thing here at the bottom for the IP4. Uh, after the SSL, we're going to go ahead and add HTTP2. Um, don't worry about all these uh, comments and uh, just scroll down all the way to the end to make sure that you have covered everything and control X, Y, or yes, no file name changes. And then uh, go ahead and uh, we are back on the prompt. And I always do an engine X T to make sure that the syntax is okay before I reload. Once you're done with that, you can do service um, engine X can't type today restart and so that we can go ahead and get the full benefit of having the version 2 and then let's go back to that test and then let's rerun that test and there you go http version 2 protocol is supported and alpn extension is supported thank you for watching this video i hope you find it useful if you do please give it a thumbs up if you have a better way of performing this particular task of upgrading http version 2 or you notice that i made a mistake somewhere please put in a comment below and if you like this kind of content for diy improvement construction etc or even web development please subscribe to my channel thank you Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel to see more do-it-yourself video like these and support my channel. Thank you.